Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So this video is one of a new series uh, we just started, which is patio prices. So really we're going to concentrate on what it would cost you now to come for two weeks. So we do a typical day. So let's say say we start with a hotel and then we run, run on to food and drinks and uh, beer and company and bar finds and everything over the whole video over the next 20 minutes or so and uh, we'll work out what it costs for a day and then we'll multiply it by 14 so you know what it's going to cost you for two weeks and I've done a little chart here so have a look at this chart and then we'll run through the whole thing I'll put the chart again at the end so that's basically the sort of costs that I think are reasonable uh, as it says at the bottom right if you start going to walking street <laughs> you can double that probably Hi. <coughs> I just wanted to ask the price of your rooms. The price over there on the board. At the board right here. On the board here. Standard room 900 baht a day. Superior 1100. Okay, that's a day. On oh, monthly you've got 24. Okay. And 27. This hotel is D Hotel. Just off Bacow. A typical hotel you guys would have. 35. And what about two weeks? Same. Sorry? Same. Same as a month or Same half, time. half, one month? Half, 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 one month or... Uh, 14 times one day? Yes, yeah, see, listen to me, Tom. <laughs> 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 you know, if you want more cleaning room every second day, it's 800 baht. The cleaning room every second day... It, it's 800 baht. Eight baht. All oh, right. Okay. So you cut down the price from nine hundred to eight hundred if you have every. Yeah. Can Can I look at a room? Can I look at a standard room? Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Okay. I'm quickly going to show you a typical room, um, and then when we've looked, had a quick look at this, we'll go down onto the cow and we'll go and uh, see the price of breakfast and beers, and and we'll have a whole look around. Okay. So we'll run through typically what you would spend the money on the day, like right. beers, massage, bar fans, whatever. Okay, that's the idea of the video. This is a standard room, not a not a deluxe, and it's I think 35 square meter, and it has a a, a couch, big six foot bed, has a balcony. When the door decides to open. <laughs> this is just for smoking, really, I think. TV. Fridge. Little sink. Shower. It's nice. Security box. Everything you need and quite big, not a poky little room. Very good, the room's quite big. It's about, it looks about 35 meter. 35. Yeah, 34. Th yeah, same set. Yeah, I thought it was quite big. Great, thank you for your help and the price. Uh, the, the same price in next month or and next month like? Uh, this price until October. Uh, or this is a ha low season October price? October. Yeah. Until October. Yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, <coughs> 
so that's the hotel price covered that's how let's go have a look uh, at how much it would cost you for breakfast and then we'll go wander down have a look for lunchtime beer prices and uh, at happy hour prices and uh, the cost of lunch and various things like this so um, now let's go look for some breakfast we'll add it all up at the end for the full day uh, when we've gone through the video and we'll multiply it by 14 give you a typical price for two weeks here as it is right now and these are obviously you can see the correct accurate prices because you can read them yourself that's the idea so across to the right over there is um, quite a nice little place does breakfast it does other things as well but it's typically for breakfast we'll go have a look and see what sort of price is there Oh, 130 baht's not too bad for uh, with a free refill for tea and coffee, is it? That's reasonable. Hi. You see the price of the beer there as well. Uh, that's typical. That's about the lowest you're going to get. 55. I did see 55, but 66 to 65 is the lowest prices you're going to get. It only goes up from there. Uh, and the food's quite good. Uh, if you look at the menu there, I'll just blow it up where you can have a closer look. Uh, and it's quite a decent menu, you know. Well, there's all sorts, and the food's quite good here. Uh, this place is uh, right at the top of um, New Plaza, just off Bacow, because that's Bacow there. This is Bacow, in case you want to wear it. So we'll walk down, we'll go have a look at some beer prices and lunch prices while further down at Witherspoons. Because that's a typical place everyone goes to. We'll go see what, what sort of uh, food prices and beer prices we've got here. Uh, I think those are very reasonable prices really for where you are. Uh, and I tried the hunter chicken, the top right, uh, for 200 baht, which was really nice. How much is your beer? So if you think that's too expensive, then we're going to go to the market. We're going to go turn right here, cross the road, turn right, and go down to the food court in the market, which is possibly the cheapest place to eat in in the whole of Bacow, pretty much. Um, they have uh, all Thai food, of course. Well, they do actually do a few the odd um, Falang food here and there, but it's really cheap. I mean, you can you can eat uh, sort of a lunch here for. 40, 50, 60 baht, that sort of figure is what we're talking about. So we'll just, I'll just go and show you, in case you may not know this existed. Uh, it's just where the, near Cafe Amazon, that's where it is behind it. So we'll go have a quick look and I'll just show you around and then we'll go further down Bacow. Uh, and there's another place I want to show you as well further down, which is obviously a little expensive. But this is really cheap, this is really, really cheap. It's all Thai food, but it's really cheap. And they will do not spicy if you ask them. You know. you, you've probably eaten all this stuff if, you, if, you, if you're a regular here. You know, fried rice, chicken, pad thai, all that sort of thing, you know. But there are some fine food as well. Well, this is for the cheek Charlies. <laughs> no, it's for people who want to be careful with the money, which I don't blame you. As we come out of here on the left side, it used to be a bank. It's now uh, the new cafe Amazon on the left.
or something like that, just opposite Withers Group, which is a reasonable priced coffee. It's like at 60 baht or something. Um, not too bad at all. So we'll go down Bacow and we'll have a walk down. Well, I'll show you the uh, the beer hub because that's quite a nice place uh, inside. And just have a look. The prices are reasonable, not too bad. Look at this this special offer here. See, two fifty for uh, a European food with a beer, with a Leo beer. And then we'll have a look at the other prices, the beer prices as well. I'll show you those. There you go, there, 99 baht. Now that's not cheap. That's pretty much one of the most expensive for the beer. That's probably why the deal with the food and the beer is probably a, a good deal because the beer on its own is deal. Now have a look across the road at Sportsman's Lounge. So you don't have to spend a lot, do you? There's like bacon sandwich, sausage sandwich, like, uh, egg on toast, and things like that. 80, 89, 90 baht. It's not expensive. Okay, let's go have a look further down. And just have a quick look at the exchange rate. Uh, it's a bit of a reflection. If you can read it, 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 I think you can just about read that. But that's the uh, current exchange rate. This place is Chill Inn, which I did do feature on a video a while ago. Um, and they do great pizzas, not expensive. I think only two or three days a week now. Uh, they'll probably change when people come back. But they do breakfast, they do all sorts. Again, good prices. It's always popular because it's good prices. And it's good food. Uh, just up here on the right is Trench Town. Very, very, very popular bar, packed out every night. And here's the reason why. Tarai beer. Tarai. Half the hour now. Tarai. 55. After half the hour finish. Oh, that's okay. 75. Okay. That's why it's so popular. Yeah, typical pattern. Uh, so, <laughs> we're talking about bar finds, but we weren't. Um, but I just thought about it for some reason. <coughs> the current bar fine prices seem to be not much less than 500 and they do run up to 800. That's the way it's going now. Oh, there's a beer price, 55 baht. That's a good price, once again. Uh, and then, of course, we've got uh, uh, Rock Factory further down there. We'll have a look at that because they do food there and it's very good live music in the evening. And if you like kebabs, Across the road there, they're about 120, 150 baht, depending on which one you choose. That sort of price of kebab, which is not bad. But yeah, the bar fine prices have gone up, uh, as have the other prices associated with the bar fine. Uh, quite a lot. Uh, in some cases, they've almost doubled. Uh, <clears throat> just the way it seems to be now seems to be they're they're all trying to copy Phuket because of they've, uh, they've read it all on Thai Facebook you know there's a nice food don't worry about that eh? beef tenderloin that's not bad is it 250 gram well, and of course you may want to have a bas massage as well that's something else so uh, VIP massage has, moved, has got another place up here at High Point down the bottom end of the cow which of course not a good place, this is much better. Let's see what prices there are. 
There you go. That's your massage prices. So we'll include all this in the chart, which I showed you earlier, and I'll show you again at the moment. Oh, that's supposed to be good. Uh, I've never eaten there, but I've had two or three friends who all highly recommend the burgers in Prime Burger, uh, including some YouTubers actually, <laughs> which I've, I've seen videos on saying they're excellent. So I must go and give it a try sometime. Right, we'll go and have a look. Uh, <coughs> further down now we'll, we'll, I want to show you cheap Charlie's and we'll jump on a bar bus okay because that's what you'll use you won't be using motorbikes because you don't have one so we'll jump on a bar bus and we'll go down Bacow and uh, we'll go to cheap Charlie's which is the most well known of all at the, the Falang restaurants on Bacow and we'll go and see what prices they've got and that's will be your sort of your evening meal if you like you know have a quick look down the cow as we go and then later in the in the video I'll I'll, uh, I'll show you so a couple of places in the evening as well and we'll I will run through that chart and give you a proper breakdown of what two weeks would cost this is only 10 baht by the way you just hold your hand out you saw me do that before then you press the button when you want to stop you go give the guy 10 bar you never 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 ask how much it is it's always 10 bar you just give him 10 bar and then walk away and he's happy so let's go look at uh, cheap charlie shall we see what prices they are The food here is decent food and it's cheap and it's good enough, you know what I mean? Unless you want to do a special meal for some reason. Okay. Got food right, I'm not what now or later, I just look for how much. <laughs> If you're wondering what these guys are selling, they're products for enhancing virility. At the beginning there, he had a pink box in his hand, which is Camagra Gel, which he's selling for 800 baht, which is very reasonable very price. Uh, he's got uh, Viagra and Vern Cialis uh, and various other ones there as well. So this is typical, you just go and jump on the back of a bus, as long as it's stationary. <laughs> uh, and then just go, and then you get off when you want to get off, you just press the button and get off. Right, so, now then, we're, uh, we've been back to the hotel, had a shower, whatever, had a sleep, had a swim, and now come out for the evening. So, I'll just run through some evening prices, uh, which are not too bad. Um, but that depends on whether you want to bar fine and what have you because then the price will skyrocket it also depends greatly on where you go i mean i'm just going to take you down to uh, the new lake classroom uh, down on bacow show you that uh, but if you go to lk metro you can on the chart you can double or you know, probably double or very nearly double the last four prices on the chart when you have a look at the chart okay so uh, it's the same with walking street lk metro walking street are both expensive by comparison uh, especially when the place opens up properly and the go go start dancing then the prices will go up again
So there's the chart, guys. Uh, tell me what you think of it, because uh, I've tried to be as fair as possible. Uh, anyway, if you enjoy the video, please subscribe and like and share. Ring the bell, especially subscribe and share. It helps a lot. Thank you very much for watching.